of me. Ha! He called him saying, Behold, there's a people who come out, of, out from Egypt. He knew where they came from. He said, You know which ones I'm talking about? Behold, they cover the face of the earth and the eye of the earth. The earth can no longer see because God has covered the eye of the earth. The eye of the earth. God wants to cover the eye of the earth. Yeah, Lord. Amen? He doesn't want the earth to be able to see. He doesn't want the world to be able to see what they need to do because he wants you to take the eye out of the enemy. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Right. You want to put your finger in the eye of the enemy. They, yeah. Oh. Yeah. they can't see no more. Yeah. Why? Because you have a vision. And you're not going to be stopped in what God wants done. Amen. In any way, shape, or form. Amen. And open heaven will reign in your home. And open heaven will reign in your business. Open heaven will reign in your car. Yes, Lord. Huh. It'll reign in your underwear drawer. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> what am I telling you? Everything in your house becomes what? The ark. Obed Edom. Come on. And it doesn't just hang out for three months. Right. Everything. I don't care what it is in your house. If God says give it up, give it up. Amen. If God says keep it, keep it. You want your businesses to flourish? You want your life to flourish? Get on board. Yeah. Amen? Whew. Still all right? Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, these people abide over against me. Say, so come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me, this people, for they are too mighty for me. Now notice this, he, he cursed himself when he said they're too mighty. God will use the words of the enemy to trick the enemy into what? Giving you a blessing. Anybody know this? Every time the enemy tries to curse you, if you buy into the curse, you just bless the enemy. If you don't yes. buy into the curse, the enemy got cursed out of its own Amen. mouth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> come on, Brian. Get the perspective right. Yep. Yeah. Get a clear understanding. Amen? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Listen, Brother Greg and I and Apostle Phil Rich, we operate in miracles. Why? God said so. It ain't about, well, you're ordained and uh, you get it and you don't. No, we all got it. We just got to use it. Yes. Is that all right? We all have it, yes. Don't sit in your pew. That's why they call it pew, by the way. If you sit there long enough, it's pretty bad. It's pretty gross. Man. I'm telling you something here. We gotta get up and move. Right. Get your exercise physically, glory to God. And spiritually. Amen. I can't move. Pray for me. No, no, pray for yourself as you run. Amen. What? You won't pray for me? I have prayed for you so many times. Now God said you pray for yourself and run. Amen. Is that my prayer? Yep. Yeah. Deal with it. Say, man, he's tough. I'm not even the pastor at church. I had to give it up. Seriously, my wife's a pastor. I go to say, can I preach? I don't know. No, she wants me to make sure that the overseeing in the church is so that the sheep that are pregnant don't die. You see, there's a whole lot of pregnant sheep here. And a good overseer sees to it that they don't get run all over the place by the winds of doctrine. Amen. Yeah. By stupid stuff. That's right. Amen. Is that biblical stupid stuff? Yeah. Have you ever heard the word stupor? Yes. I think it's in there, isn't it? So I'll just break it down. Stupid stuff. Amen. We do stupid stuff, don't we? Yes. Yeah. True. We used to. Yeah. Amen? We used to. Oh, you don't anymore? <laughs> used to. I say you don't anymore? We used to. Come on, man. Talk to me now. We're moving Hello. Forward. <laughs> Come now, therefore, I pray the curses people. And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in the hand in their hand. They did this quite a few times. I'm going to move on for the sake of time. Amen. Not that I serve it, it serves me. But for whatever these chairs will let you stay. Look at 12. And God said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Is he God? Is he not a man that he would lie? That's so he right. told him the truth, didn't he? Don't go. Watch this. He said, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. That should have been the end, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. 
So what did Balaam do then? And Balaam rose up in the morning and said unto the prince of Balak, Get you into your land, for the Lord refuseth to give me leave to go with you. God didn't refuse, did he? Told him flat out, no. That's not a refusal. You see, it wasn't a reasoning. See, this is where we miss it in Christianity. Oh, come let us reason together. Can I tell you what the true meaning of that is? The true meaning of come let us reason together is this. God said it. You agree with it. That's the reason. It's over. Amen. It's over. You don't talk back. You don't have to. Why? You got the right answer the first time. Somebody's getting this. Glory to God. Wow, you should be on the front row. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Glory to God. Listen, I wait on the Lord as I go. Is that all right? Are you still with me? Yeah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. So Balaam did his thing. And the princes of Moab rose up and they went unto Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. And Balak sent yet again more princes and more honorable than they. He said, I'm going to increase. Increase the temptation. Listen to me. Secret Balaam's will fall to increased temptation. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger. Show me you really, really want to recognize me. Right. I want to be the praise and worship leader. But guess what? This is the way I sing. This is the way I do it. And I will bless the people. Put me up there. No, put you out. Mm -hmm. Or put you in the back row until you get it right. Get something going. That, listen, there's a holiness that has to be. Amen. There's a holiness. Whew. You know what? I, I really feel like I'm getting through. <laughs> I do. Anybody recognize that? Is anything happening in your spirit? Is there changes? Amen? <clears throat> and they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus saith Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me, for I will promote thee unto very great honor, and I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto him, Said on the servants of Balak, if Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, he's asking. He said, but it probably ain't enough. I need more. He said, if you did all this, he said, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord, my God, to do less or more. Now, therefore, I pray you tarry ye also here this night. Now, why do you want him to stick around? Why did he want him to stick around? Listen to me. Please listen to me. If you have a Balaam spirit, now is the opportunity to be set free. Amen. To be set free. I told Pastor Rick that this would be bold today. He's accepting the bold. Amen? And without fear. Amen, brother? Whew. Springfield's far enough away. Amen. Glory to God. Listen to what I'm telling you. If we can't be honest with each other, if we can't be downright to the point with each other, what is the sense in it? Amen? Amen? God is looking for a people that will rise up. Look, we're in 2012. You say, is he rabbit trailing? No, no, this is a part of it. We're in 20, redemption. What is today? 20, redemption. What's the month? Five, grace. We're in the grace month, the day of redemption in the year of 2012. 20 is the year of redemption 12 is governmental perfection. He's saying, I'm redeeming the authority in you. Glory, amen. I'm redeeming the authority in you. Yeah. You say, well, God's got all the authority. No, Jesus said it's finished. Amen. You got it. You need to 